And what's up with the YouTube fam, man? I'm back again with another video. Look, I know a lot of us have seen this situation circulating on the internet today. Mm -hmm. I know some of y'all haven't. So, yeah, look, long story short, it's a situation. Well, first of all, let me say this, man. A lot of y'all saying y'all ain't seeing the videos and stuff like that, man. YouTube doing a little thing where, you know, certain things don't show. So, make sure y'all hit the like button and comment. You know what I'm saying? That way y'all can get all notifications and stuff like that and won't miss none of the videos. If you ain't interacting with the channel, they won't show it to you. So, yeah. But anyways, man, long story short, it's a situation that took place where two dads shot each other's daughter in a road rage incident now this right here is so lame and weird these dudes are so emotional these days and it's crazy that they out here moving like this but yeah man i seen something saying that one of the girls was shot in the leg and another was shot like somewhere else and she's having complications i'm not for sure you know i didn't do too much research on the situation due to the fact that i had so many videos being sent to me and i'd rather just sit back and watch it with y'all and learn what's happening with y'all at the same time so yeah we're gonna go ahead and get into the situation and i also got an update about the situation as well so yeah we're gonna go ahead and get into it i'm gonna tell you what i feel about this during the video and after the video so if you don't want to hear me talking to any point in time during this video that's on my channel just get up off here go find it somewhere so if you can find it if you can't find it that's on you i really don't give a damn about you know it so it is what it is but to all my loyal supporters and my new supporters man y'all already know i'm not talking to y'all when i say that all i want y'all to do is hit the like button for me and tell me what y'all feel about everything in the comment section add all my social medias in the comment section as well if y'all want to add those and add my second youtube channel too it's called carlos king too that's if y'all want to add that also if y'all don't want to add none of that i ain't doing no trip on none of that but let's get into it to see what the hell going on with this situation Thank you. Two children are recovering tonight after they were shot during what police describe as a road rage incident. This involved mm -hmm. two vehicles Saturday in Nassau County. On your side, Taylor Levesque is live there at that scene. So, Taylor, what can you tell She's us sad. about the injuries of these children who were shot? Yeah, five and a 14-year-old suffered shot wounds. God damn it. A wound to the chest. When oh, whoa, whoa. Shit. Damn, hold on. Let me go back. My speaker over here, trip. Shot wounds. The 14 year old suffered a gun wound to the chest, but is expected to be okay. Both of the vehicles on Saturday stopped here at Keeney Road. After Hold on, I gotta go back one more time because I missed a piece of damn speaker. Taylor, what can you tell us about the injuries of these children who were shot? Yeah, lace me up. Yeah, five and a 14 year old suffered gunshot five. wounds. The 14 year old suffered a gun wound to the chest but is expected to be okay both of the vehicles on saturday stopped here at keeney road after the shooting and both drivers are facing attempted charges they should Sheriff bill leaper says around 6 p.m on saturday two vehicles a nissan murano driven by 43 year old frank allison of callahan and dodge ram pickup truck driver driven by 35 year old william hale of douglas Georgia, look at them thugs. both driving northbound Damn on us thug. one coming nice. from the jacksonville area with multiple passengers witnesses described the incident as a wild game of cat and mouse one of them look high <laughs> i mean that was reckless slamming on brakes in front of him i think he called up there both hauling butt <laughs> that's the one who look high look at him Mm -hmm. At some point, Allison, the driver of the Bronco, began firing shots at Hale in the do in the Dodge Ram, striking a five-year-old little girl in the right leg who was riding in the back seat, and he sped away. That's when Sheriff Leeper said the pickup truck sped up to the Bronco and fired more back. He shot everything that was in the magazine. Damn. Seven or eight rounds. He wanted some ass, didn't he? At least three bullets struck the Nissan. One of the bullets went through the rear of the vehicle. Mm. Struck a 14 year old girl in the back, causing a collapse lung. Damn. After the shots were fired, according to 911 calls, passengers began to panic, and drivers saw a nearby officer on Kimi Road and pulled over for help. Both men were charged with attempted and bonded out of jail. Lieber says the injuries both of the children sustained is the result of their fathers shooting at each other. Mm -hmm. Live in Callahan, Taylor Levesque, Chris Coast News, on your side. So emotional to the point where you harming your damn kids, boy. Okay, this is some of the update, I guess. Okay, you like the same dude, hold on. If it's the same dude, I ain't gonna watch all of it here. Shit, we hear what the hell that he said, shit. Hold on. Sometimes we see people acting stupid and doing dumb things out on the highway. Oh yeah, for sure. They sometimes let their emotions get the best of them and they don't really think about the consequences of their actions or what could happen as a result of their stupidity. Facts. Today, I'm going to talk about one of those cases. This is the information we know right now. Of course, some of it could change as we continue our investigation. Lace me up, school. This is a road rage incident that occurred a little after 6 p.m. on Saturday, October 8th. 
on US-1 South Callahan. NCSO received multiple 911 calls with reports of people being shot. According to a witness, there was a black Dodge Ram pickup truck with five occupants and a gray Nissan Murano mm. with three occupants involved in a road rage incident. Damn, I know what He I described think. it as a cat and mouse game the whole time. He stated that both drivers were driving so erratically, he called 911 because he thought something bad was going to happen. Mm. At some point, there was also another pickup truck involved in the road rage, but wasn't involved in the shooting incident. According to our investigation, the driver of a black Dodge Ram, William Joseph Hale, weirdo number one, age 35 from Douglas, Georgia, and the driver of a... God damn, what the hell going on with that video? This ain't me, y'all, shit. <laughs> the damn Wi-Fi couldn't head over there. Here we are, Allison, age 43 from Callahan, Florida. Are both involved in a road rage incident traveling northbound on US 1, coming to the Jacksonville area, speeding, driving erratically, and brake checking each other. That's getting in front of each other and applying the brakes. Mm -hmm. At some point during the encounter, the driver of the Dodge Ram got up alongside the Nissan and rolled his passenger window down and began shouting at the driver of the Nissan to pull over. Mm. The right front passenger of the Nissan put her arm out the passenger window and flicked the other vehicle off with her middle finger. The Nissan driver, Allison, rolled his window down to shout back at the other driver and a plastic water bottle was thrown from the Dodge Ram into the Nissan. According to the Nissan driver, Allison, the water bottle did not hurt him or cause him to lose control of the vehicle. The driver of the Nissan, Allison, then grabbed his six hour that was six hours. 45 caliber semi-automatic handgun and fired one shot at the Dodge truck before driving away at high rate of speed. True. Allison stated the reason he fired his weapon was to get out of the whole situation. The bullet that Mr. Allison fired went into the right side rear passenger door of the pickup truck and struck a five-year-old girl in the right leg. She said, boy. According to the driver of the Dodge Ram, Hale, he heard a loud pow, but he really didn't think nothing of it until everyone started freaking out in the back seat. When he seen the mini Nissan Murano speed away, he then realized his daughter was shot. Mm. As the Nissan was leaving the Dodge Ram, the Ram driver, Hale, sped up to get closer to the Nissan and began firing several shots from his Glock 43 9mm semi-automatic handgun out of the driver window with his left hand back at the Nissan. According to the Dodge driver, Hale, he shot everything that was in the magazine, seven or eight rounds. That's some of what we heard. At least three bullets struck the Nissan. One of the bullets went through the rear of the vehicle and struck a 14-year-old girl in the back, causing a collapsed lung. As both vehicles were speeding northbound on US-1, they observed an NCSO patrol car at Kimmy Road in US-1 and stopped, and the two drivers got out as to arguing and fighting with each other. Just say The deputy had to break up the fight. The deputy then called Nassau County Fire Rescue, who transported both juveniles uh, that had been shot to the hospital. Their injuries turned out to be non-life-threatening. After our investigation, Frank Gilliard Allison and William Joseph Hale were both arrested and charged with attempted murder and booked into the Nassau County Jail. Great. Now, Damn thugs. what is scarier than one crazy driver with a gun? Two. Two crazy drivers with a gun. Thankfully, no one was killed in this incident. Thank but God. it could have been very easily turned out that way because two people were acting stupid and let their tempers get the best of them. There could have been two dead kids because of two stupid grown men. Boys. If someone is driving aggressively around you, let them go. Slow down. Go the other direction. Get the vehicle description if you can and call police. Don't show them how stupid they are by doing something stupid yourself. Nobody wins when you engage them because this is what can happen. 
Dang, that's the end of that situation, man. You know what I'm saying? And I really, really respect the way that this officer is speaking about it. You know what I'm saying? And it's crazy that people out here letting their emotions get the best of them like this. It's not really a good thing when you got children around you and stuff like that. You're not capable. Ain't no telling what you would do. You know, and I know road rage will bring another side out of a person. Now, I can't take away from their parenting and stuff like that, but at the same time, shit, I got to take something away from the parenting because you're putting the children in danger. You feel me? Anything outside of doing the right thing with your children around is out of line. You know what I'm saying? We all fall victim to certain things when it comes to our children. We ain't perfect, you know, but when it comes to, like, bringing firearms and stuff in, now that ain't what's up. You know what I'm saying? I mean, we all have road rage incidents where we get mad at somebody. I'm not saying, like, well, I'm, let me change that. We all get a little frustrated behind the wheel sometimes when people are here acting crazy and stuff like that. But when it comes to your children being in there, you're supposed to de-escalate the situation. You're supposed to release all the energy and try to switch that shit to some positivity that way you won't go out here and do nothing crazy you know you don't want your children to see you out here acting crazy as hell you know but i'm glad that they are okay i'm glad that they didn't pass away or anything like that i hope that they get what they deserve you know and it is what it is you know i hope that they don't get taken away from their children for a long time but you know the way that shit is set up these days you get to messing up like this boy you're gonna get some time i ain't gonna lie to you but uh yeah man the situation crazy is here i want to know what y'all feel about everything in the comment section thank god if them kids still alive y'all know i'm real sentimental when it comes to them kids man i don't like none of that shit bro for real i don't feel like nobody deserves to get home especially the children you know Especially due to somebody being emotional as hell, you know. But I want to know what y'all feel about everything in the comment section. Y'all like, comment, subscribe if you like my commentary. If you don't like my commentary, I ain't doing no tripping. I'll holler at y'all later on another video, though. All right. If you made it to the end, I appreciate you.